This is crazy. You won't believe this. How much this caddy is earning. It is more than PGA Tour professionals. Now, until I did some research into this, I was absolutely shocked and I know you will be shocked. You will not expect this. How much this caddy was earning. Now, I've done some research in this purely and simply because I used to caddy on the European Tour. Now, when I was caddying, I saw the highs. I saw the lows. I saw some very, very experienced caddies do some unbelievable jobs, but I don't think people realize how much they got paid. Now also, as we go through this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how much I earn. I'm gonna actually break it down for you week by week and how it broke down in terms of what the player paid you and what you earn in terms of prize money. Now, you think of a caddy and you think of a golfer, right? And we look at the golfers on TV week in, week out, and we think, individual sport, right? We just think the player is there. The player does it all on himself. Now, there are probably a lot of players think that they do, but honestly, this is what I think of the role of a caddy. They have to be a swing coach, they've got to be a nutritionist, they've got to be a mental coach, they've got to be a friend, they've got to be a joker, and they've got to be an unbelievable communicator. These are all things that, as a blanket statement, you don't even realize what a caddy does until we break it down like that. Now get down in the comments right here. What do you think? Is a caddy's role like really influential or do you just think if the player's gonna play well, they're gonna play well regardless? Now I'm gonna say right now, if a player is awesome and they're in a great patch where the swing is feeling great, then yeah, they're probably gonna play well regardless who's in the back. But a caddy's money is earned in pressure situations, in times when the player's not playing very well, scraping to make the cut, coming down the stretch with the tight on the line and the swing eludes them. That is where a top caddy earns their crust. So Ted Scott is Scotty Scheffler's caddy and has been now since around 2021. He makes more money than most PGA Tour pros. Ted's actually started out as a very, very good pro golfer, playing a lot of mini tours and got to a plus four handicap. And actually for him, it didn't work out, but I'm sure he doesn't really worry about that right now. Now in 2021, Ted split from Bubba Watson and considered retiring from caddying at all. I bet right now he is absolutely so glad he never retired. So when he split from Bubba Watson, he decided to have a look at going down the golf coaching route. He had a friend that was very, very high up in the golf coaching business and had many conversations with him until Scotty Scheffler got on the phone. So it's safe to say right now, coaching is definitely on the back burner. Now being a plus four handicap means Ted can seriously play golf and can really help alongside his coaching pedigree. He is without doubt helped provide an extra set of eyes to Scotty Scheffler's swing coach, Randy Smith. Ted can see, report back how Scotty's swinging on the golf course, which is unbelievable. So valuable this information, because if you've got a golf caddy who is an unbelievable golfer, but also understands a swing and has a passion for coaching, that dialogue becomes so much more valuable than a caddy who isn't a good golfer, because you don't have to be a good golfer to be a good caddy, and who isn't very clued up on the technicalities of the swing, because things can get misled. I think that is a pedigree, and one of the reasons why he's been very, very successful. He has the ability to understand Scotty's swing and feed this back to his coach in way more detail than other caddies could even dream of. Now, just when Ted Scott can't get any more perfect, he is actually um, well-renowned for being a fantastic joker. More importantly, he knows what to say, what to do, and how to say things at the right time. And as I said right at the start of this video, one of the major roles of a caddy is being a great communicator. And being a great communicator doesn't mean you have to say things all the time. It's knowing what to say, when to say it, and also when to shut up. Now, one of the examples that I've got with this, right, I remember caddying, my first ever caddying event, and I was told by Tom's dad, um, who was caddying for at the time, Tom Murray, keep up, shut up, and never pull a club. Now, that is the advice that I would tell any caddy, because, like, if you hit a bad shot, sometimes as a caddy, it's right to say, right, okay, come on, we can get back and do this. But other times, it's best just to keep absolutely stump. Now, this thing really, really did surprise me. When Scotty Scheffler call Ted Scott or asking him to caddy for him, Ted asked Scotty a question. 
Now, usually, right, you think about it, a player like Scotty Scheffler with great prospects, great college career, you're like, oh, ho, sign me up, I'll just caddy for you regardless. But Scotty Scheffler had a bit of a, a reputation of being an angry golfer. So Ted Scott said to him, I would love to caddy for you, but you have to do something about your anger issues. You have to clear up these issues. And you know what? Fair play to Scotty Scheffler. He has just done that. And you know what? How successful have they been so far? Now, I think this is fantastic from both sides. Firstly, Tez has the ball to say something and work on potential weaknesses. And Scheffler has had the experience of getting a caddy who has been in the game a long time. It's clear not to forget this. He caddied for Bubba Watson for around 15 years. He is what we class as sort of a young veteran with so much experience. And for a young player with so much talent like Scotty Scheffler, what a combination. And you know what? I guess it's a bit like a fatherly figure. You're going to believe and you're going to listen to somebody who's been there, done it and got the t-shirt a little bit more than, let's say, a younger caddy. So how successful have they been? Well, in 2020, Scotty Scheffler had no wins at all. In 2021, he had four wins and now has six career wins in total. Two majors in that. What a run. That is unbelievable. Now, before we go into exactly how much Ted Scott has made, I want to break down for you exactly how it worked out for me. Now, as a caddy on the European tour at the time, DP World Tour, you got paid around 800 to 1,200 pounds a week. Now, that might sound like an unbelievable amount of money, and yes, it is a lot of money, but listen to this, right? You have to pay for your flights, you have to pay for your accommodation, you have to pay for your food. It is a lot to pay for when you've only got an 800 pound budget. And don't forget, the European tour, is worldwide, pretty much, apart from America. Now, a long haul flights, half of my flights were paid for, but I think that was probably quite favorable because I was caddying for a friend, Tom Murray. So you can see here, what sounds like a lot of money, you've got to make it go a long way. Now, in terms of the percentage breakdown, exactly how it worked was, I got 10% of a win, which we did win once on the challenge tour. I got 7.5% of a top 10, and 5% any time we made the cut. And I think that's probably standard for most caddies until they get to the elite level where they're probably going to be paid a salary or a retainer to stay loyal to that player. Because someone like Ted Scott to Scotty Scheffler, you can see what an impact he has had on his game since joining him. Now, this is absolutely outstanding, okay? In 2023 so far, Ted Scott has earned 843600 dollars. Yes, you heard me right. Now, that's not far off just keeping your PGA Tour card, and he's done that as a caddy. Wow. That is a serious amount of money. Like, serious amount of money. Now, that really, really shocked me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn the bell so you never miss a breaking news story here on Bat9 Films.